cherry blossoms back there. You think those things grow on trees? And you! You think it makes me less of a man if I came here for the cherry blossom festival, huh? You're laughing with your eyes! I can see it! Fine! Time for a little boss battle, suckers! <laughs> What is going on guys, Jack here and today I am bringing you the Deadpool 2 vlog. Film came out today in the UK, I am super excited to go see it. Me and Nick are, well, patient, oh so patiently waiting for the film to come out, well, for the film time to come up a little bit later on today at 10 past 6. Just waiting on Nick to come down now, he's at the gym. Gonna be gaming, some Deadpool stuff which we're gonna put in this video over here. Food, music, maybe? Just gonna be talking about the movie as well, just letting you know guys, not what we hopefully get from it. But we're not going to find out until tonight, after we've done, or after we've seen the film, talking about it, what we thought of it, and whether it was better than the first, because it is certainly bigger and bolder. So stay tuned, guys. I will see you all soon. Years later. So you've got... Oh God, this is only going to hurt a little. <laughs> so you've got Deadpool, <laughs> which you're well familiar with. That's a health token, so if you're low on health, and just uh, hold RB. And it'll replenish it. That one. R1. So yeah, you don't need to use it yet. But... Oh, I just used it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. It's still there. Yeah. And jump it. So if, you, so if you hold RT, you'll bring up, so hold A when you hold that, so hold them both together. <laughs> and that blue bar next to the Deadpool picture, that's like your st like stamina, so when that's run out, you can't use any of those powerful abilities. Deadpool! Woman. Okay, they're immune to that. Because I can't poison the robot. Do I have? Yep. Oh, what? I thought I have fusion. <laughs> okay, is that it? Is that it for bad guys? Okay. Why is, <laughs> why is the Wolverine just doing exactly what you're doing? <laughs> it's fusion. We teamed up. Oh, so they do both do the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, so if I hold L2, L2 for you PlayStation people, um, so like targeted, it'll, if I can select like somebody and just launch at them, um, clear and basically like wipe out a big group. Oh, wait, I tell you, I've got to go to Cable Base. Go. Right, I'm playing as Cable, and I've got to rescue Cable. It's a paradox. I'm rescuing, yeah, I'm rescuing my younger self. No, what is it? What is it? It's a fourth wall break. It's, it's a fourth wall break. That's like <laughs> 16 walls. <laughs> ah! Cable. Done. Right, throw it <laughs> and target you again. <laughs> do, 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 do. Boom. Oh, that did not quite work out how well I wanted it to, and these two are very close to dying. <laughs> I think the second one will be better than the first. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. 
What, what, what does he say, Nick? <laughs> you can't remember. Twos. Say something about making the thirds terrible. Oh, um, stop it. Stop it two, you've killed it. Something like that. I know what you I know what quote you're on about. Yeah. But does that mean that Deadpool 2 is gonna be the last one? Well Ryan Reynolds has said that because they're bringing in X Force, yeah. I think the shift the the, sh the focus is shifting from Deadpool to them. So it's like is there going to be a Deadpool 2, uh, Deadpool 3? But after there was an article released today, Ryan Reynolds has hope it will happen. So it's like, who knows? If, well, could... if it will happen, I reckon they'll go, I reckon they'll go all out on the last one. Mm. So if this is the last one, I reckon they'll go all out on it to make mm. it the best. Yeah. Because he has said it's bigger and it's better, so it's that kind of makes me think yeah. it's the last one. But I hope not, because Ryan Reynolds is just so passionate about it. Even like, did you see the David Beckham thing that I told yeah, you? Oh, that was bloody hilarious, <laughs> that. Is that the one where he's like, what do you think I was apologising for? And he's like, Green Lantern, oh, R.I.P.D. Yeah, yeah. And then he goes, even Van Wilder. <gasps> <laughs> I think he says Van Wilder, I can't remember it. But it's just like he goes, that was a masterpiece! I'm sorry for shouting. <laughs> Cable, he's the man out of time. Cable. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Fusion, ha! Any calories are in a dumb That's a good question. So I gotta eat healthy. Well, it's one of them, as long as you don't abuse it. Like, how many calories is it you have to target? Uh, my target's like 3,000 on a day. Right, and what are you on now? I can see it Right. His standard KFC meal's got 1200 calories. Fucking hell! That's fat! <laughs> What's this over here? Oh, power pick. Cable! Almost there. Die, Bishop. Ah! Yes. No! Oh, shit. Why is he just a tire in the middle of it? Uh, he's just getting real tired of our shit, isn't he? <laughs> the fuck am I meant to do? Oh. Yeah, he's just a tire in it. Boop! He is very much a tire. Come to the It's... <laughs> oh, fucking hell, he sent me flying. No! Oh, there's cable over there. Done. Okay, now's the time to finish it. Oh, come on! He's literally got a pubic hair worth of health. Getting him back up now. No! Die! Too much power! He's dead. <laughs> okay, so. Pizza. So you just added yours, yeah? Yeah. Pizza. Uh, I can't hear him. Can't hear That's weird. <laughs> I'm playing PUBG and there's no volume. A few inches later. So we've got pizza. And we're watching Deadpool. Oh yeah. Before the second film, so I'm gonna talk into this. And then Deadpool! Day two. Okay guys. That movie blew me away. It absolutely blew me away. Nick was gonna join in on this part here, but he's very tired and he's gone home. That film it was it was unbelievably funny the action was definitely bigger and bolder there was a lot more stuff that they could do in this one that they couldn't do in the first one you can definitely tell that some aspects of say stunts and action things like that they had a little bit more to work with in this one 
The story at times suffers from pacing issues, like it it doesn't really give any direction of where the story was going. It kind of does like a jump cut that it's it's not quite Justice League level jump cut, but it's jump cut enough to make you go, what the hell just happened there? Ryan Reynolds is funny as ever as Deadpool. He absolutely steals the show in every scene that he's in. Josh Brolin is Cable. Now I was saying before I went to see this movie whether Thanos would be better or whether Cable would be better, to be totally honest. He was really good as both of them. And for Cable's sort of first on-screen movie, they couldn't have picked anyone better than Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin absolutely sells it. There were moments where he did sound like Thanos. And it was kind of like, it, it, it's just so weird. You're expecting them to pull out the gauntlet and start doing shit. You know, the TJ Miller as Weasel, once again, brilliant. Everyone in the movie was fantastic. It was great seeing the X-Men, Col you know, Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead in it. It was great seeing them again. Um, the Easter eggs, and without going into a little bit, you know, without going into too much detail, the Easter eggs in the movie, the, the, the thought that's gone into it is breathtaking, and it's the fact that with the inclusion of X-Force, a lot of the members of X-Force are unknown characters. They're not people who... You know, everyone's familiar with you've got Bill Skarsgård, Teddy Crews joining the ranks. And it's just, it's really good to see an X-Men movie outside of the X-Men universe acknowledging all these characters. A lot of thought has gone into it and it's brilliant. Action's top notch. I have never laughed so hard in my life at a comic book hero movie. It was unbelievable. There was one scene in particular uh, I'm not spoiler. I'm not going to go into detail, but when you see it, you will know, and you will cry with laughter. I absolutely loved it. It was just great seeing Deadpool on the big screen again. The cinema was in uproar with laughter. Um, the music was brilliant in it. I, I, I fault the story, but there were a couple moments where the story really made me go, "Oh, that was really nice." Oh, that was fucking epic. Uh, Nick really liked it, but you know he's like he's he's just like Deadpool. Everything about him, everything that he says, it's unreal. But guys, um, not a lot's gone on in this video. It was kind of last minute thing to throw together, but I hope you did enjoy it. I give the movie a solid nine out of ten. You know, great visual effects. It was choppy in some aspects with the CGI, especially where Cable jumps out of the truck. That was a little bit choppy. You see that in the trailer. Um, but other than that, like. It, it was it was amazing and Domino I didn't really think I'd like Domino in this movie but Jesus Christ she blew me away luck is one hell of a superpower to have I can tell you that right now and Stanley's cameo whoa Stanley's cameo opening to the film was fantastic mid credit scene was fantastic might be my favourite one out of all the Marvel movies going back to Easter eggs a lot of Avengers jokes get dropped in there and it's stuff that you'll pick up on straight away. It's fantastic. I guess you can get away with it because it is technically under the same roof now. But who knows. So I give this movie a 9 out of 10. The only thing I will falter on is story. Uh, could do with a little bit more Cable. Cable's probably not in it as much as I wanted him to be. But that's just me. I love Cable. And maybe I just expected too much of him. But 9 out of 10 guys. If you've seen Deadpool already. What did you think about it? Let me know below. And what are your hopes for future X-Men related movies so thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time ta-ta